If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, I will come to lecture six of this uh, engineering math complex number. Today I have again taken three questions. Again, one question on uh, complex integration, contour integration, and some property of complex number and again time period. Okay, then let's start. What is given in 4 x is equal to root minus 1 and the find value of x to the power x. Now, what is root minus 1? You know this one, this one is i. This is that asking you to find i to the power i. Now, something if something is in power, then it's better you write z in polar form. Polar form or Euler's, Euler's format, you can say. Which is nothing but r e to the power i theta. Because then if you take power of this one then it becomes easy because power power will get multiplied if if any complex number if you say it is in the index format some complex number above another complex number then you know you always take it in polar form or Euler's form so that it becomes easy for you so what is i how i will write i if i locate my i here in real axis and imaginary axis so i is here because it is minus one one i so it is in imaginary axis one point because real part is zero zero plus one i you can write zero plus one i so real part is zero so in coordinate it is zero comma one nothing else so this is my point so if i write it in r theta format what is r if you recall r is the length from here to here so r is here one what is theta theta is the angle this is your r theta format this is always r this is always theta in anti-clockwise direction so what is the theta theta is pi by two so what is x? x is e to the power i by v2. That means i in polar form, In this is my rectangular Cartesian form, this i. If I write it in polar form, it becomes this. e to the power i by v2. Now what they asked you to find i to the power i. That means e to the power i by v2 to the power i. So what it will be? Power, power, it will get multiplied. i, i will be minus 1. So it is e to the power minus pi by 2. So I think you have got the answer. This is your option a. The very important, very nice one to uh, to sh to show you the importance of the polar form or last form. Why we go for polar form? If complex number comes out, it pops up in someone's head. Then wha how to bring it down? You have to take it in Euler's theorem or polar form so that it brings down, so that you can operate on it. Five again integration. Integration you will find lots of integration. So these are very easy just to find residues at that point. I have given you in theory classes also. You can refer, it will come in the suggestion. You can go check that suggestion again to cal how these residues are calculated. In the last, that is lecture 4, I think, of theory. If you pro take product of this one, it will be z plus 3 minus 2z minus 2. So it will be, so what is the contour they have given to operate? They have given the contour as z plus 1. By now, you know, this is a circle and this was original format z minus so it is minus minus one so it is centered at where it is centered at minus one so minus one is in real axis because no i so it is centered at here and radius is one so obviously it will touch here and it will be a circle of this fashion okay this is my center now let me locate the pole where at the pole pole is at minus one and minus three so minus one is this itself so one pole is here one pole is here so we will not consider this one because we need to integrate only on this contour so this one so what we will do we will calculate residue at z equal to minus one how we will calculate residue remit z tends to minus one and then z plus one multiplied by that original function ultimately you will be removing z plus one that's it and the thing you will left with this is your fz you will put it there minus one that is the residue so minus one minus one it will be plus 1, 3 minus 1, 2, so residue is 1. So what is the value of that integration? What integration we are doing? Uh, we, are just, we have just started doing integration, but what is given here? What is given here to integrate this one? 1 by 2 pi i, integration of c, fz. So 1 by 2 pi i, you keep it there. And this integration we know, it is 2 pi i multiplied by the sum of the residue. What is the? Only one pole is there, so only one residue will come that is 1. So if you multiply this one, this will this cancel, so this is 1. So you think there is a given 2 pi i divide already given, that's why it is coming 1. So if it is integrate directly integrate, give answer 2 pi, then it will be wrong. It is because 2 pi I have to divide, so answer is 1. So don't get excited by seeing integration. Oh, I know it and directly write the answer. And, and accidentally in the options also 1, 2 pi is given, but that will be the wrong answer. Uh, what is the period of this one? Now you know it very easily. What is the time period from electrical signals? It is a sinusoidal signal. This is your omega. What is omega? Point 
8 pi so if omega is 2 pi f 0.8 pi f is equal to pi pi will cancel 0.4 t will be equal to 1 by 0.4 1 by 0.4 will be equal to 2 it will be 2.5 second so t will be 1 by 0.4 and which is equal to 2.5 second that's it suppose you don't know uh, uh, electrical signals then you don't know why omega why it is angular frequency now you can only think if it is uh, suppose it is sine a t normally what is the uh, time period of sine t sine t is 2 pi this is the time period so if for a t it will be 2 pi by a that's it you can think it in that way also so it will be 2 pi by 0.8 pi so again it will come 1 by 0.4 so it will come 2.5 because if you are multiplying with uh, time something that means actually you are if you, if you can see you what you are doing you are dividing by your time period get reduced so you are shrinking the signal that's it because if it is normal t then you have 360 it will return but if it is a, if you multiply 2 then when it will become uh, it will repeat if you put t 180 then only it will repeat it will start repeating because it will behave it will think that 360 is given inside it so it will it will take care it will take the values of 360 and it will try to repeat it so it will repeat early that means if your signal was something like this if you multiply your signal will get strength it will more strength you will you will get the values very early before 3 cb at 180 only you will get the value so that's why it is divided original time period divided the time period get reduced so it signal get strength so you can think it in that way also but in this way also you can do that's what any way any of the one you prefer both will give you same answer okay then that's all for today if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section